It's Wednesday, May 22nd, 2024. Let's talk about the news. From Quartz, Hims and Hers is now selling ozempic like weight loss drugs for $199. Hims and Hers Health, a telehealth company that specializes in providing everything from hair loss to erectile dysfunction to skincare products online, announced on Monday that it is now offering a compounded version of semaglutide, which is the active ingredient in weight loss drugs like Ozempic and diabetes drugs like Manjaro. Semaglutide-based drugs, though rife with side effects, some of them substantial, have surprised the medical community by proving incredibly effective for helping folks who have traditionally had trouble losing weight lose substantial amounts of it. And new studies have shown that it can reduce the risk of major cardiovascular events and the risk of severe liver disease as well, alongside other benefits. Compounded drugs like the one HIMS and HERS is offering are basically mixed versions of a more standardized FDA-approved drug, and they are not reviewed by the FDA and are generally frowned upon if a standardized reviewed version, like Ozempic, is available because of that lack of oversight. The branded version of these drugs have been in very short supply since they began to boom in popularity and use, though, and this custom version costs a fraction of the price of Ozempic, about $199 per month compared to around $1,000, which is why Hims and Hers stock boomed following the announcement of this new offering and why we will likely see more compounded versions of this drug from other companies in the coming months. From the Associated Press, ex-South American leader Zuma, now a ruling party critic, is disqualified from next week's election. The former president of South Africa, Jacob Zuma, is not qualified to run for parliament in next week's election because of an earlier criminal conviction, according to a ruling by the country's constitutional court. This will almost certainly complicate the election, in part because the ruling was handed down so last minute, but also because Zuma, who was sentenced to 15 months in prison in 2021 for refusing to testify during an inquiry into governmental corruption and who was forced out of power in 2018 under a tidal wave of corruption allegations, has become a prominent force in local politics, having started a new party last year and having become a critic of his former party and the person who replaced him in office, current President Cyril Ramaphosa. The country's governing party, the ANC, is facing its most significant challenge since it took power decades ago, and some analysts are expecting it'll have to form a coalition government for the first time if it wants to hold on to its majority. And from Reuters, Scarlett Johansson says OpenAI chatbot voice eerily similar to hers. Scarlett Johansson, an actress who, among many other prominent roles, provided her voice to an artificial intelligence in the movie Her, has accused OpenAI of creating a voice for its chat GPT tool that sounds a lot like her, despite her not having approved her voice for that use. The voice in question was pulled from OpenAI's offerings following the actress's accusations, and while OpenAI CEO Sam Altman has said no effort was made to create a copy of Johansson's voice for their product. He has previously said that Her is his favorite movie, posted the word Her without context on the social platform X two days before the new voice options were announced, and apparently asked Johansson to license her voice for ChatGPT purposes in September, and then again a few days before the release, which she declined. Though OpenAI contends that they hired a different voice actress without considering how similar she sounds to Johansson, this is being seen as the most recent instance of what many creatives are worrying about right now, namely their work or likenesses being used by AI systems without their permission and without any kind of compensation, which arguably puts their livelihoods at risk. If you're finding some value in One Sentence News, consider leaving a quick review wherever you get your podcasts and or sharing the show with a friend. You can find out more about this show or subscribe to the email version at onesentencenews.com and you can support this and other related projects like the Let's Know Things and Brain Lenses podcasts at understandery.com.